Hi, darlings. I'm your host, Dino Bonacic, and welcome to another episode of The Perfect X, Zalando's series that uncovers every piece in an essential wardrobe. But plot twist, we're taking you into the beauty cabinet as we discuss the perfect lipstick. My guest, she's definitely an expert in the field, it's Isamea French, beauty mogul and makeup artist who knows how to do a perfect lip. Isamea, are you ready to tell me all about lipsticks? I'm ready. What makes a perfect lipstick? I think if you're wearing something on your lips all day, it's got to feel comfortable and good. How important is the brand when buying a new lipstick? Not that important. I think you can have luxury makeup. I think you can have accessible makeup. And as long as the ingredients are good, you're good. What is the biggest mistake you've made when buying a lipstick? I think probably going for the wrong nude. Mm. Um, you really need to test nudes in different lights because they will change. So. And what's a lipstick color that everyone should have, regardless of their age or skin tone or hair color? Well, it's a bit basic, but probably a, a classic red. It's a classic for a reason. I know you made a few beauty looks today. Mm -hmm. um, should we have a look and discuss? Of course, yeah. Great. Dark Mysterious. It is, it's a MAC matte lipstick and um, I love black lipstick. I think if you're going to wear it, just do super clean, glossy eyelid, sheet goth. And when it comes to overlining the lips, what's the kind of tip? I, these days, love to use an eyebrow pencil, mm. soft brow pencil, just to give it a fake sort of shadow. It makes a lipstick fuller. And when it comes to the ingredients of a lipstick, is there anything we should look out for? Something that adds moisture value, so whether that's a vitamin E, a hyaluronic acid, something that's going to make your lips feel good and moisturised all day. Nice, good tip. Let's have a peek at look number two. Nice, opposite, it's a Charlotte Tilbury nude, very chic. Let's chat subtlety. When do you do that look, the beauty look when the lipstick is in a supporting role? I think if the eye is the feature, so if mm. you're doing a smoky eye or a cat wing or you've got a big statement accessory, it's the finishing touch should be a nude lip. What is the recipe to getting a perfect match in a nude? I think it's just trial and error. Obviously your skin changes seasonally, so it's about having a few throughout the year. Summer nude versus winter nude. Exactly. And your final beauty look. This is a brownish burgundy Estee Lauder lipstick. It's the one that you're wearing right now with a slightly different eye. How do you build that look around the lipstick? Because I feel like for this specific look, the lip is the main character. Totally, I think it's about complementing the lips. So whether that's a contrasting accessory, contrasting sort of eye look. In this instance, I had the burgundy and then I had the pearl earring. So for me, it's just about the contrast. And layering gloss over lipstick. Mm -hmm. Always start in the center of the lip. You don't want a full glossy mouth because that will make the lipstick bleed, but just a touch in the center is actually all you need for that glossy effect. And but bleeding in a good way, which is what you're doing right now, where you're kind of buffing the edge. Yeah. I like it because it feels like a fresh way to wear lipstick. Mm. If you do a classic lip shape and then you take a Q-tip or a cotton bud and I just kind of blended it out, it's like a foolproof mm. way of having your lipstick last all night and not worrying about a smudge. Nice. I know you spilled a lot of tea, you shared a lot of secrets, but are you ready for a little speed round? Yes. Matte, velvet or glossy? Velvet. High pigment or buildable? Buildable. Vibrant or neutral? Neutral for myself. Red or pink? Red, definitely. Overlining or embracing your lip size? Love an overlined lip. The ultimate statement lip is? Big and glossy and thick and juicy and more Fabulous. is more. <laughs> And finally, I've got one last question for you. If somebody's on the market for a lipstick, what's your piece of advice for them? I think try a metallic. They're mm. so underrated. And I think, you know, bronze metallic, gold metallics are very, very complimentary and quite cool. You heard it here first, folks. Thanks to Samea. Welcome. Thank you guys for watching.